The annual Consumer Electronics Show kicks off this week in Las Vegas, and as its tradition, journalists are given a sneak peek at what to expect a few days prior to the main event. This year's unveiled events are considerably more muted, and the normally packed conference halls significantly less crowded. Our managing editor, Moon Gan Young, is at CES 2022. Las Vegas. The glitz, glamour, and the bright lights that define the world famous entertainment capital of the world are back. The neon lit strip is again seeing traffic build up, and tourists are coming in droves. Vegas returning to some resemblance of normal after a month's long COVID 19 led hiatus also means the return of the annual tech pilgrimage to a trade show called the Consumer Electronics Show. And with CES, of course, comes the CES Unveiled, one of the most popular pre-CES events leading up to the Consumer Electronics Show. Now, normally, you see journalists queued up here to get into this event, but this year, it's a little different. Many tech companies and media made last-minute decisions to pull out of in-person presence this year due to a surge in Omicron cases, but it's not stopping the organizers from marching ahead with a trade show. Requiring everybody to be vaccinated was, you know, one decision that we knew was going to help us, um, you know, help us no matter kind of what was happening down the road. Then. Uh, being able to offer free testing to everybody that came. That was like another layer that was important for us. Masking and requiring people to continue to wear masks. These are the things that are going to help us get through and move forward. And so it was important for us to continue to move forward, uh, you know, especially because we had 2,200 companies really counting on us to bring everybody together and, and do this this year live. So what are some of the key tech trends to watch in an unusual year that is 2022? I think AI is one of them that we keep seeing, driverless technologies, electric technologies, and I think probably health is probably probably the, the four ones that you'll see. But then, you know, the other exciting things that we have this year for the first time is like we have space technology. AI, food tech, and health tech with a sprinkling of metaverse and NFTs. Well, another key word here at CES 2022 is health tech and health care combined with digital technology. Here we have a massage chair. I think a lot of Koreans have, must have one or two massage chairs at home. Um, let's meet with the CEO of uh, this firm. Hello there. Hi, hello. Welcome to our booth. You have an option to, you can take it off shoes. Like so is that the element where AI comes in? Yes. So the AI, we use a two uh, types of AI What we use. We use the neighbor systems, the voice recognition. Also, we collect our data from your uh, signals and we analyze uh, based on what uh, time that they use, and what kind of function that they use. And also, we measure uh, some of those bio signals from your body and we identify, detect, and then let you know that what's your health conditions. So identifying my health conditions and providing me with oxygen, yes. um, absorbing nitrogen. So this is uh, at-home health care. The increased focus on wellness following the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the digital transformation of health care and skyrocketing demands for mobile and flexible care solutions are being met with pioneering technology. And another key word at this year's CES is the future of mobility and autonomous driving. Here I have Indy Autonomous Challenge, and uh, let's meet Paul. Hi, hello there. Hello. Now, uh, this, you have a race car here, so tell me all about it. This is a fully autonomous, meaning self-driving race car. It's capable of traveling at 160 miles an hour around the racetrack and it does so without any human telling it what to do. Right, so uh, this will be racing around the racetrack, competing with one another this week. So at least two cars passing each other at the higher and higher speeds. It's, it's never been done in the world, and it's going to advance the state of the art in autonomous technology. So what's the technology behind this? So this vehicle, if you look at it, it looks like any other race car, except where the driver sits is filled with advanced uh, autonomous technology. We have perception systems like LIDAR, radar, uh, optical sensors. It's one thing to think about it as an autonomous race car, 
But think of those times when an ambulance needs to try to get through traffic very fast to save a life. That's where this technology can be applied to better our daily lives. The three-day show, cut back from an initial four-day run, opens on Wednesday at venues across Las Vegas and is being offered virtually. While it may be a subdued gathering this year, it will nonetheless serve as a platform to display groundbreaking tech accelerating the digital transformation. And in 2022, what happens in Vegas don't just stay in Vegas. Moon Gonyo, Arirang News, Las Vegas.